This is an example of game theory by John Nash. So let's assume that we have two players or two prisoners. And for player A and player B, if both of them they stay silent, each one of them will spend one year at prison. And we put it here as negative one, which means each one of them will lose one year of their freedom. If both player A and B or prisoner A and B confess, both of them will spend two years in prison. So each one of them will get negative two and negative two. But if player A stays silent and player B confesses, so player A will spend four years at prison while player B will set free. He will spend zero years. And vice versa. If player A confesses and player B stays silent, player A will spend zero years at prison while player B will spend four years at prison. Therefore, what will be our optimal strategy? Our optimal strategy is what is the best strategy for both of them? So in order to get the strategy, let's look at each scenario and let's get the summation. So if both of them, they stay silent, they will spend here negative two, two years, one and one each. If player A confesses and player B stays silent, zero plus negative four is negative four. So they will spend a total of four years in prison. If player A is silent and player B confesses, so negative four plus zero is negative four. If both of them confess, negative two plus negative two is negative four. So which one here is the lowest number of years to spend in prison, which means the highest number? Since it's negative, so all the time negative two is bigger than negative four. Therefore, it's better that both of them they stay silent. So the optimum strategy is player A and player B, prisoner A and prisoner B stay silent. So what will be the payoff? Each one of them, they will spend one year at prison. But remember that game theory is an example of non-cooperative oligopoly. What do you mean by non-cooperative? These two prisoners are not allowed to communicate. They are not allowed to collaborate. Each one of them, they stay in a separate room. Therefore, each player is afraid that the other player might cheat and confess. Therefore, if they stayed silent, the party or the player or the prisoner that confesses will set free. This person will spend zero years in prison, while the player that stay silent will spend four years. Therefore, we need to know what will be our dominant strategy. So what do you mean by dominant strategy? This is the best strategy for each player if they do not collaborate. So let's look at player B. If he stays silent, either player A stays silent or confess. So negative one plus negative four, it's negative five. If player B confesses, either player A stays silent or confess, zero plus negative two is negative two. Then let's do the same for player A. If player A stays silent, regardless player B stays silent or confess. So I will get here the blue one horizontally. So negative one year plus negative four year, it will be negative five. Then I will apply the same if player A confesses, regardless if player B stays silent or confesses. So horizontally, I will sum the blue values, zero year, plus negative two years, it would be negative two. So if I check here for player B, which one is bigger, negative two or negative five? Negative two is bigger. What do you mean by negative two is bigger? It means that spending only two years is better than spending five years at prison. Losing two years of freedom is better than losing five years of freedom. Therefore, for player B, the best strategy for them is to confess. Then let's apply the same for player A. Negative five or negative two, which one is bigger? Negative two is bigger than negative five, which means spending two years in prison is much better than spending five years at prison. Losing two years of your freedom is better than losing five years of freedom. Therefore, for player A, what is the dominant strategy? It will be confess. Therefore, the dominant strategy for both player A and B will be confess. So what will be the payoff? Each one of them will get two years in prison. So our dominant strategy here, is it the optimum? We know that our optimal strategy is both of them stay silent. But since they cannot collaborate and they are afraid that any one of them will cheat, so each one of them will confess. Therefore, our dominant strategy is suboptimal strategy. So since our optimal strategy is not the same as dominant strategy because the dominant is suboptimal, therefore here we have prisoner's dilemma. So what do you mean by prisoner's dilemma? How in our dominant strategy is suboptimal. What do you mean by suboptimal? It means that it's not equal to our optimum strategy.